I'm here in my studio and I have this giant gray wall that you see behind me here. I've been wanting to fill this with a black backdrop for a while, so I decided to go on to Amazon. I did a ton of research and I think I found the product that would work for exactly what I'm trying to do here. And it's this right here. This is the Limo Studio 5 by 10 foot black muslin backdrop screen with backdrop holder. This is model AGG1337. So this is the backdrop itself and it actually comes with clips, which you can see in the bottom here. And to accompany that, I also got the Limo Studio backdrop support stand. This is AGG1112. So these two products together should do exactly what I'm trying to do. And I thought I would make a video today where I share the setup process and my honest review of this. I'm no expert in backdrops, but I thought it'd be useful for you to see somebody that's just experimenting with this and you can make a decision along with me. Let's open these things up. Let's start with the backdrop. Nice soft material. Let's, I'm wondering how wrinkled it's going to be. That was my main concern. Looks like it does have a little bit of wrinkle to it, but maybe we can iron that out. We'll have to see. The clips were a point of contention on Amazon. Some people loved them, some people hated them. I'll let you know once we get it up, but they look like they're okay. They seem like they have a nice metal material, and I think they should probably be able to hold that up. They gave me a total of five of them. Now we'll get into the stand which comes in its own bag, which I don't think I'll really need because I intend to keep this up all the time. Wow, this bag's actually pretty nice if you're planning to be mobile. Not too bad. Nice Velcro. So that's very much like a tripod there. There's one. Before I put this together, I'll give you a quick look at the directions so you know what to expect from this. Obviously, that's everything that came with this. This is how it all goes together for the stand, which looks very simple. And then, in addition to that, here are the directions for the actual backdrop. And this is kind of interesting because it shows here that you can use the clips to attach it, but then down here it shows that the, the backdrop has a pocket at the top, and maybe I can just put it through that. So I'd ideally like to set it up that way since it's going to be permanent. This seems to be like something you would take apart more often. But I'll put the stand together and we'll give it a shot here, see what works best. And when you thought it couldn't get any easier, they labeled everything for you. So we got A, that goes into B, that goes into B, that goes into D. And this is as easy as sliding that in there like that and then twisting it and it snaps in. I just made a modification to this that should be important to note. I actually took out one of the B's from the middle just because I don't quite need 10 feet going this way. In fact, the space that I have here, this is about it. I'm sure you can see just how far this is. I'm just planning to sit in front of this and I think that'll be more than sufficient. So I just dropped one of the middle pieces out and you can do that, you can keep it 10 feet, whatever works best for you. And if you're trying to follow along visually, this 10 foot section here now is about seven and a half feet. I cut one of these sections out. Now I just gotta raise these up to make it tall enough. I don't intend to stand in front of this, I'm mainly gonna be sitting, so I can keep this thing pretty low. But the next step that I'm doing here that you're watching right now, gotta take these off so we can put that crossbar across there. And that is the stand. I'm going to wait to put the tightening bolts back on the top there because I want to put the muslin background on first just to see how that works out before we commit to this. Unfold this. It's a lot of material. So back so you can see the whole scope of it. Wow. That's crazy. I was looking at it here and it is confirmed. This does have a spot at the top where I think that cross beam can go through there. you wanted to do this for the full 10 feet, you can buy a 10 foot backdrop for this. But for one person sitting in front of this, I'd say this is more than sufficient. Well, the problem is, I'll move the camera here so you can see this. Being that this is 10 feet long, I have a lot of extra material here that I'll have to probably just tuck back. Now I can put these on. Even more modifications to this, I took out both of the B's, which is the middle one. And that pretty much left me with right exactly what I need. So it doesn't take up so much floor space. And if I just, mess with the bottom of this a little bit here. That should work. Just made some final adjustments to this and this is what it looks like. This is gonna be the, the final product, minus some washing, just because it's got some wrinkles in it. There's a little bit of, looks like dirt or something there. So I want this thing to be as flawless as possible. But if I step back here, 
you can see just how it looks. Again, I cut this thing in half, so it'd be twice the size if you were to get a full size one and also to buy a 10 foot background. This is about five feet here, but for my space, it fits perfectly. But there's only one last thing to do, and that's to see what it looks like when I'm sitting in front of it. So after all that work, here we are in my newly created black void. Let me know what you think. Does it look good? Can you tell that it's wrinkled back here? I think you probably can. So I'm gonna wash this in the, in the washing machine. It says that you can do that and then I'll put it right back up and it should look perfect without any wrinkles once I dry it. Uh, one little funny thing is, this is the end of my scene right here. So if I move the camera any little bit, you can see past this, which is kind of the downfall of getting a five foot wide backdrop. So I could technically go 10 feet wide and I could put those other supports in that I removed to make this thing really wide if I needed to. But this is basically all I'm gonna be doing right here and I think it works pretty well. So let me know what you think. If you're interested in buying either of the products that I've reviewed on this, I'll put links below to Amazon. They are affiliate links, so if you do click through that, it helps this channel out, which I greatly appreciate. So thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. And just for fun before you go, here's a wider shot where you can fully see the edge of my scene here. So I am actually thinking about going with the 10 foot just so I can kind of go like this and be fully in the scene. I kind of like this wide angle.